going on with this 38 degrees because they've got a website right and they do petitions and i was actually complaining about um basically the fact that all of the if you donate money they choose where the money goes they, they're effectively working like a political party rather than a um fair procedure you know, like change.org, you can put money on and they'll pr promote your petitions, right? Pe anyone can donate to promote a petition. But the thing with change.org is it's global, so it wasn't necessarily that good if you were in England. Um, they might have updated it now. But, I mean, change.org was okay, but I had some petitions on 38 degrees because I, I started some other... Um, ones because the 38 degrees website was just another website and it was pretty cool when you could add um, evidence to it and um, I got some paid promotion from someone on the Fiverr website but I got scammed and ripped off and they put fake signatures on but I didn't do it they did it um, and 38 degrees like basically took my petition down said that it was my fault and I said no it's not and then I, I showed them the evidence and they said okay even though someone else did it, not you. They didn't put my petitions back up. I complained to the Fiverr website and I got some of my money refunded. Not all of it, some of it. But they took my petition down and that, that's all my evidence what I'd collected. And, and I'm, I'm actually taking it really seriously, but time's kind of like passed on now. It's been about 12 months, but I've been busy doing other things and I don't really want to have to spend hundreds of pounds or thousands to take 38 degrees to court just to get my two petitions back up, which they should just put back up. I mean, it, it it's not really monetary value. It's sentimental. It, it's That's my legal casework, right? Petitions are protected by the privileges of Parliament. And this is what I've proved now and got all the evidence for, right? And 38 degrees actually don't have a legal right to seize and take my evidence they're running a petition site which people have got privileged petitions and 38 degrees are a third party kind of like a newspaper publisher right and and courts can it's important to know that courts can put press blankets but they can do the opposite You've actually got a legal requirement and right to publish certain things, which is why in America they've got freedom of press, right? Like a witness appeal, things like that. It's on the same legal standing as a witness appeal, but under the jurisdiction of Parliament to share petitions, right? 38 Degrees wanted to have a petition site. They don't act with the authority or jurisdiction of Parliament, right? Um, and also, I didn't commit any fraud or forgery. If those people who signed it, um, didn't put legitimate signatures. Those signatures are just void, but they're set aside. And further than that, I had loads of evidence on it, which is valid. But 38 degrees can't steal and take my casework. And this is the thing. The Petitions Committee in Parliament also, 38 degrees aren't acting with the authority or jurisdiction of Parliament, and they haven't declared themselves as a government, a non-departmental government agency, right? And I argued all this with 38 degrees, but 38 degrees don't know the law. They're not lawyers. And even a lot of the lawyers, professional criminal lawyers, don't even know this law properly because that's what we're trying to get. Um, no one really is knowing this law of the privileges because no one's really studied it. Now, the thing with 38 degrees is there was a page. There used to be, we're talking like, 12 months to two year ago, maybe three year ago, but two or three year ago, right? Well, actually, no, I think I think it's just, it, it was probably around the time when it got taken down, which is like February 2023. So there was a page. There was a couple of Facebook groups with 38 degrees, but just little groups that people had started with the very few followers, including the Bristol one. Right, but that someone had a page, and the page was called 38 Degrees, but there was hardly anyone following it. And I spoke to the guy um, on 38 Degrees page, and he said, I asked him, you know, oh, are you 38 Degrees? He said, no, I'm not. He said that he wasn't 38 Degrees, but he just followed them, 
and it's not like an official 38 degrees page he just called it 38 degrees and he said that he'd fallen out with them right he said that he'd had a fallout with 38 degrees but now when you type in 38 degrees they have got what looks like an official page but i think it's the same one and they're saying that they're promoted by 38 degrees 10 queen street place first floor ecr london that's the headquarters 38 degrees is a community of people so i don't know whether this is that guy that i was talking to that time and he said that i'm not 38 degrees i fell out with them but i've just started a website called 38 degrees because i like doing petitioning right or if it actually is 38 degrees i don't know if they managed to take over that page from him or not or if it's someone else but i'm pretty sure that this is the page that was up before so there's something very strange going on but now suddenly this page has now got really really popular and it's got 300 and odd thousand 375 thousand people following it i can guarantee you in february 2023 when my youtube channel got taken down and the 38 degrees petitions this 38 degrees page was not like this it was a guy who said that he wasn't 38 degrees but he'd called it 38 degrees he just did used to do petitions on there it didn't really have that many followers it might have even had a few hundred if not it didn't really have a thousand i don't think and now there's 375,000 people it looks like it's the actual 38 degrees and they're updating it all the time but what what really annoys me and what is the most important thing here is that firstly 38 degrees don't know the law i don't know what staff they've got um, or what lawyers they've got but even the professional criminal lawyers don't know this area of law like criminal lawyers who are even going to the high court and getting paid you know hundreds of thousands of pounds don't know this even jeremy johnson kc who did lord hanningfield's case doesn't know it properly right the problem is what i have with 38 degrees is that people were giving lots of money to 38 degrees but they their staff were picking and choosing and selecting what petitions they were going to support that is what a political party does a political party decides what policies that it's going to um advocate and support right rather than everyone on there being treated equally or people being able to um sponsor particular petitions which is what change.org does this is why i like this but i've just found a brand new website well it's new to me called petitions.net which um Colchester council watch showed me and it's really good and it's just really really simple and basic and you can actually sponsor um any petition you want to help you know um and it's just really simple and basic and i actually like it so i never liked 38 degrees ethics there was something mysterious that went on with 38 degrees when one of the people the co founders got prosecuted for cocaine or recreational drug possession um and then the whole website seemed to take a turn i think the, it got hijacked but um because it's quite a powerful political force um the petition the parliament petitions committee itself if you could get a petition running on there they were blocking out certain petitions from running which should have a legal right to run including appeals from local council decisions when you when you actually get a petition published on the government website that's great because it's proper proper official and it's like all recorded with government you'd have thought the courts would recognize it and and recognize your privileges but they weren't doing um but it's good other than that you know they were also stopping you from putting links and so forth for saying that oh you know they're you know false information or whatever or not not valid information you, you, when, when you're when, when you're when you're putting evidence up you're you're, you're giving it you're, you're showing something to, to people and asking them to decide for themselves you know you're showing the public it and then make their own minds up 
that's what evidence is for you, you know if everyone if everything was all already valid you you go into court to try and convince and prove something to the court that it is true right that's the point that's why you go to the court to prove it's true if it was already um proved or somehow officially declared, you wouldn't be going to court, right? You know, it's almost kind of like saying, you know, you know, Parliament don't really want, pa Parliament want them, pa a court is somewhere you go to prove something, right? You have it proved in there. It's not proved outside, and then, that you, you're allowed whether you to bring it in or not, because then there would be no point in having the court, right? If everything was being proved outside of court, you wouldn't need to go into a court to prove it. I don't know if you can get your head around that, but that's effectively what Parliament are trying to do. Parliament are trying to kind of like almost... It's like, instead of having... inviting people into an empty room to decide, to, to look at things and decide... They're making the room blocked out, kind of like filling it with cement and concrete so you can't go in there. And they're saying, oh, you can't come, no one can come in here because nothing, you know, um, you know, you can't bring anything in here because it's all false. Well, how do you decide whether it's false? Well, we say it's false, so you can't bring it in. You're all blocked. No one's allowed in here. Well, what's the, you know, we need to get in there to prove whether, have a look at it to prove whether it's, you know, true or not. You know, that that is a current mentality of Parliament, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but anyway, so 38 degrees, another thing they're doing now is they're meant to advocate equally for everyone, right? In, um, like, cam campaigns and petitioning. Because their website is going to be what you run petitions on or campaigns. Okay, but now they're having a go at Tommy Robinson, who was a campaigner, and 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 they're having a go at Tommy Robinson and saying that oh he he um he's advocating hate speech or hate crime, right? And then they're also because um basically right they're saying that Amazon are supporting Tommy Robinson's book, and they're reckoning that that supports hate crime. Which I think they're just jealous because Tommy Robinson is getting loads of publicity. If Amazon are publicising Robinson's book, then good for them. But I've never liked Amazon anyway because I don't I don't like Bezos. I've got some music on Amazon, but that's about it, and I don't really sell any music. I think people stream it. I don't make any money out of it. Um, you know, I don't buy anything from Amazon myself. I shouldn't really have music on there, really. But it, it you know, it certainly it's not like a massive thing. It's certainly it's not enough anything in the region of Robin, Tommy Robinson, right? I don't buy from Amazon. I try to avoid it. Um, but if Tommy Robinson, you know, is got if he wants to do his book on there, and if Amazon are promoting it, then fair enough. But you know, Tommy Robinson is someone who supports. Um, campaign you know campaigning i think for, the thing with 38 degrees is they were picking and choosing who they would advocate right and not letting people decide themselves so the fact that amazon are picking tommy robinson and advocating tommy robinson um is exactly what 38 degrees would do themselves pick and choose who gets advocated or not so I think that it's really, really um, stuck up, ironic and hypocritical for 38 Degrees to be now calling out Tommy Robinson, you know. When 38 Degrees are breaking the law, they've seized and stole my evidence unlawfully. I was running a petition, and I have got, got some valid signatures on there, and but I had evidence uploaded, and I was sharing it to the public. And that is privileged items and information. And, you know, 38 degrees still have not put my petitions back up and have still not um, agreed with me. And, um, you know, I've even got the... Um, I forgot what it, what's he called now. Um, I should remember his name. Um, 
Robin Priestley. Robin Priestley, right, is a guy who works at 38 Degrees who is absolutely clueless about law and rights. I mean, they're running a platform which is meant to be 38 Degrees for rights, but they really have not got a clue about rights. You know, so Robin Priestley just is... He's just, you know, they've seized and illegally taken my things. And why should I? I mean, I've written loads of letters to them, and I've even written, given them a Sabina. So I'll put it back up. And it's been over 12 months now, getting on towards, I think probably it's coming up, not to, after Christmas, it'll be two. We're about, um, we're over one and a half years anyway, right? But I've been busy doing other stuff. I've been writing to them a little bit now and again, but you know, I mean, I can't. Um, I, I don't want to have to pay hundreds, if not a thousand pound, to to take them to court, right? Um, to get the website back up, to to compel them to do it, because why should I have to pay all that money for something which really I started for free and I put my own time and effort into it? And and it doesn't really have a money value, right? It's it that that's my casework and it's my photos and my evidence and some of the signatures are valid, right? And it is privileged. And they've actually legally seized it from me and I want it put back up. Right? And why should I have to go to a court? And I shouldn't you can't go to a court because it's legally privileged under parliament jurisdiction, right? Which means the petitions committee have got to tell them to release my evidence. Because 38 degrees are like a newspaper, right? And and courts can tell newspapers, including the Court of Parliament, that's what they're doing with 77th Brigade. They're taking certain things down, but they can't take political things down, which are privileged, right? Because you, you, you've got freedom of speech in and out of Parliament. Parliament are refusing to exercise jurisdiction when we've got privileges to make 38 degrees put our casework back up. And it's not actually in the jurisdiction of the High Court or the Crown Court or the County Court. It's going to be Parliament's jurisdiction. I could go on um, the Small Claims website on Government's Court. It's like a Small Claims Court website. And I probably could put all the claim there. But I don't think it's under the jurisdiction of that court either. Anyway, unless I said to that court, um, 38 degrees have taken my petitions down and I believe that it's under the jurisdiction of Parliament, privileges, maybe they could say, yes, it is. But even then, you know, it, 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 they're making, they're doing something that they don't even really have the jurisdiction. It's not in their jurisdiction and this is a problem with all these criminal cases, really. Even the ones where Extinction Rebellion and Just Up Oil get acquitted. So, 38 Degrees, I really, um, you know, they're dumb. They're a pain in the ass. They, they're, 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 they claim they're helping people and they're facilitating campaigns. I've never liked the way that they fund campaigns and how they do fundraisers. And their law sucks, right? Their law sucks. And I don't even know what's going on with their Facebook pages. Um, you know, one minute it's a guy who's not them, and then he's fallen out with them as well, and then the next minute it's them, and they've got 375k followers or whatever. And now they're actually um, going against other campaigners, which is basically what they did with me. 38 degrees are always, rather than, you you can't have a impartial petition platform, right? And then put advert, if this is the official 38 degrees page, and, and they are running it from London, from the headquarters, and it isn't just a fan of 38 degrees running it, right? Then... They're actually advocating against Tommy Robinson, right? They, they put this Guardian story up, and they, they, 38 Degrees, are calling out against Tommy Robinson. Now, that's like a newspaper um, 
basically complaining about people who are running adverts in the newspaper. Or it's like, it's basically what Parliament themselves are doing when they're blocking certain people's petitions out and not letting them run because they're party politically biased. You can't, it's like a judge in a court being on the side of the prosecutor when he's money being partial. If you want to run a petitions platform, you you really have to be completely impartial. And another thing is it's like in the American Constitution, right? Under the American Constitution, people who were elected to office did not vote, right? They didn't vote. Only the citizens voted, not the people who work in the government. That was what managed to keep the whole thing um, legitimate, right? Because you can't run a government that is biased. This is why political politics is really bad. And 38 degrees, I kind of like that. And they end up supporting certain campaigns or giving money, like when they flew that aeroplane with 38 degrees, that stunt they did. Over, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here with Matt Hancock and all that. They, they, in Australia or wherever, they, they flew a big plane over it, wherever the money from that came from or who planned it. And it, 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 they're actually like a petitions platform which is using money and funding to aid certain cases and causes, which is kind of like um, if you had a court or if you had a petitions committee. That, that, I know the Petitions Committee, um, they hear certain cases, right? But there are many of them like a judge does, right? You're not, you're not meant to um, be pro certain people and then not helping other ones. Not, not when you're just like an open platform. An open platform is meant to be impartial and biased, surely, right? It, 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 38 Degrees is kind of operating like some kind of political party that claims to be for everyone, but it ends up doing its own sort of policies, which is really odd. And in fact, I, I would suggest that it, the better model is kind of like a newspaper, right? Because a newspaper, people come to a newspaper with stories, right? Oh, I've got a story of this, I've got a story of that. They want him, they want stories, right? They want people to come to the newspaper with stories so they can publish them and they've got things to print. And then they've got people running adverts in there, right? And they've got reporters who go around and get stories from people. But what happened is that they ended up, you know, filtering that and then they, they just wanted to, to, they wanted to get the stories themselves. We, we, you know, we're going to, have a monopoly on stories and we're going to put in and then when these big companies take over it you know um it, it, it's mainly like oh they're looking for what political stories they can have to affect politics to affect the voting to affect us rather than just actual honest events happening um that, that are occurring around and people just coming in with stories right they actually end up putting a lot of reporters sacking a lot of reporters like in local newspapers mainly because a lot's gone online now but and then they're just running they're playing the big ball game with all the newspapers and big 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 events um but more to shape the political field and aid and abet political parties when you get into the whole nigel farage thing and reese mogg when it's when a lot of it's actually illegal including i really think that some of these big events that labor are doing and the Tories, when they've got people in the cabinet um, who are not meant to be promoting parties once they get elected, they're meant to be doing the job in government. They're meant to leave that to people who are still trying to get elected, um, you know, and, and the people who just work at the party headquarters. Um, it is corrupt. And also, you know, if you've got a newspaper that runs free ads or ads, you know, you can advertise in the newspaper. But then the newspaper itself, instead of like being a business that you know everyone's you know everyone and everyone's welcome to advertise in this newspaper, it's free speech. But then just because another um, promoter like you know Amazon or whatever is um, promoting certain petition, uh, 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 promoting Tommy Robinson like his campaigns, so thirty eight degrees really are very jealous now it seems of Tommy Robinson. 
is getting promo for his campaigning by Amazon. I'm not saying I support Amazon, but that so he's getting a lot of promo from Amazon, and he's a campaign the type of person who might use the eight degrees. But they're like calling him out on it because because just the fact that someone's helping him when that's exactly what thirty eight degrees have been doing the whole time. They've been helping certain people. Thirty eight degrees have been um, you know. Um, bias against certain causes and certain campaigns um, so it's almost kind of like an absolute I, it, 38, 38 degrees I don't really like what Robin Priestley is doing because he, he, he's dumb in law you know but you know this is where we are with it there's a lot of people who are dumb in law even the people who are using the rights and Look at all um, Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil, how they failed, and some of them got arrested and gone to prison. And even the ones who get acquitted haven't even done it properly. It's just just a mess at the moment. Um, so, you know, I mean, I mean, I don't even know what Priestley's playing at. I don't even know who's running this page, because I don't know what happened to that page that was 38 degrees that said that I'm not 38 degrees. It looks like that it suddenly is now. So, you know... Um, I'll probably text this to Priestley. I've got his phone number. Not that he'll listen to it or give a damn, but I can tell him that I am going to get those two pages up on that 38 degrees or they are going to end up getting prosecuted and I don't even care if it has to be the Supreme Court, right? There's no monetary value. They're being fickle, right? They are being fickle and um, awkward, right? Those petitions and evidence that I created and the signatures which are valid are privileged, legally privileged items and information, and they have unlawfully withheld those from me and on an open platform where pe everyone's running privileged materials, 38 degrees are a third party, and they're not parliament, they're not a court, they've got no legal right at all on my material. And as for civil... You know, if it's a civil matter, well, in the civil matter, they're saying that, you know, oh, because, you know, I, I got some signatures. They are not the judge of my signatures. They aren't the judge of my signatures. And signatures which aren't valid don't get counted. You know? And, um, you know, when it comes to publishing Class F materials, when you've got a petition website, the whole thing is political class F, and the whole thing runs with 1688 Bill of Rights. So every single person who uses that has got the rights. So they're running the platform, really, where the people using the platform have got more rights than the people who open the platform, because the people who open the platform are just facilitators for everyone else. So they themselves aren't actually starting a petition. Everyone else is. So they themselves don't actually really um, have any rights because they themselves aren't. Now, if you say that they're helping other people do their petitions, well, they're not. You know, uh, some he really is a, a sad, miserable mess of a place. And now they're even having a go at Tommy Robinson. You know, he, he really is terrible. And I don't even know why Big Brother Watch even bothers supporting them, to be honest. I'm glad I found that nice petitions.net website where you can actually, um, you know, you can actually, it seems a lot fairer. And I hope that it picks up and does well.